everyone and welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brennan Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day and let's start out by, by just saying Happy New Year. Absolutely. It's New Year and it is a cold one. <laughs> well, yeah, 2018 is here and below freezing temperatures. It which is very cold. I think part of that is you're going to talk about what you really would need to do to your home. Uh, when the temperatures are this cold. So that was something we'll end the show with with your Real Estate Minute. Absolutely. I have that in the Real Estate Minute. And of course, that's a very light touch on things that people should do during these extreme colds. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I always tell people definitely get on the internet, look up anything that you can do to help preserve pipes and heating and cooling and right. all that stuff because this can be really detrimental to your home systems. It can, especially if you've got it listed. Mm -hmm. And it's going to hurt you as far as selling it because you're going to have to do all this upkeep and things like that exactly. or repairs that you don't need to make exactly okay well let's let's start off go, talking about uh, the first listings that we have and we'll start out in Paintsville the first one we're going to talk about is located on Walnut Avenue in Paintsville like you mm -hmm. said and we have actually talked about this house before and but this one has a newly reduced price oh well that always makes things more attractive because a lot of times I think people may see a home and think oh, I like it but it's just a little bit out of my price range mm -hmm. Paintsville is, is funny. The downtown area is divided kind of like by Paint Creek. You've got the bridge. So this one is on where the old bowling alley used to be on that side of town. Correct. And this home was built in 1941 mm -hmm. and is kind of a cottage style house that really has a lot of those new updates. So you get the charm with all those updates with it. And you can see in the pictures that it's got the extras as far as the crown molding and things like that in there. So they've done the updates. And one thing about it is, is a lot of times you'll see these older homes and the rooms are small and chopped up. And that's not the case here. These rooms are all very large. Yes, it's nice size rooms. And then something else that's always a popular feature, this is a four bedroom home and you do have a master on the first floor. So you have okay. that master on the first floor. You've got three additional bedrooms on the second floor with a full bathroom that services those, which is a really nice layout for somebody who wants to make sure they have access on a first floor bedroom. Uh, and this, this whole area, this whole neighborhood, um, is known for, for big spacious yards and things like that. So it's one that definitely you'll get the feel for things when you drive through. Absolutely. And this one actually sits on a double lot. So oh, wow. you really do have that nice big yard. And then the backyard is actually completely private. And I've actually seen this backyard, beautiful backyard. This is one that, mm -hmm. you know, you can take a picture of and put it in a magazine backyard because they've got the flowers and the shrubbery and all that. So it's just a really, really nice, serene place to go sit in the evenings. Well, you're talking about that one. It may be wintertime now, but by the time the buying process is finished and this home is yours, it's going to be springtime, ready to plant and worry <laughs> about all of the, the flowers and things that are blooming. So now is the time if you want that pretty spring garden. Absolutely. Okay. Now this one, everything that, that we just showed you is still under $200,000, $194,000 for this home uh, on Walnut Avenue in Paintsville. Now this is Kathy Brown's listing mm -hmm. out of the Paintsville office. Let's give that number. Okay. That number is 606-789-8119. Okay. Now moving along, let's, let's stay with Kathy and, and show another one of her listings. Now this one's a brand new listing. Mm -hmm. This is a brand new listing and this is in Woodland Estates. If you're familiar with the Paintsville area again, mm -hmm. you are on Route 40, um, down past Depot Road, towards the golf course, that direction, mm -hmm. in Woodland Estates. And this is one, it was uh, built in 1972 and this is going to be a great house if you're looking for a starter home, if you're looking to downsize. This is the perfect little ranch house for that. The convenience on the location is only mm -hmm. helped by the convenience that the house allows you to have. So you've got a two bedroom, one bath, like I said, all on one floor. You're in a very well established neighborhood in mm -hmm. Paintsville. So you have, you know, families that have lived there for a while and that kind of stuff. So it's another neighborhood that you can ride your bike or go out for a walk or something like that. Which the two things that you said, you know, that this would appeal to being your starter home. So maybe you've got a new family, mm -hmm. you know, you're a young family and you're looking for that first home or you're an empty nester and you're like hey I want to just move into a little quiet neighborhood where everybody knows everybody um, that would fit perfect for both of these and, and we're looking at under a hundred thousand under ninety thousand dollars for this too so it's going to fit both of those right now this one's one I'm sure people are scrambling to write down that MLS number is one zero nine five zero one again we talked about this being under ninety thousand it's eighty nine thousand so uh, definitely if this is a market you're in 
uh, give Kathy Brown a call or let's go ahead and give her email address in case somebody prefers to do that. Okay, the email is cbrown at rbnw.com. Okay. Now, um, one more listing that we have of, of Kathy's, and we'll stay on this area of Paintsville before we come back into Pike County. And now, this one is on Stafford Street. Correct. This one is, um, if you're familiar with where Euclid Avenue is mm -hmm. in Paintsville, um, it's actually very close to our Paintsville office location. So if you're familiar with where Red Brown and Williams is in Paintsville, the house is in that same area. One of my favorite things about this neighborhood is the walkability because you mm -hmm. can walk to almost all of the city schools. You can walk anywhere downtown. You can walk to the rec center for that is true. the ball games, anything like that. And then, you know, when you have Apple Day and that kind of stuff, which I think we mentioned on one of the other ones, you're right there close to town where you can walk in and out very easily. This house has almost 4,000 square feet of a black wow. grade square footage, which is just crazy. Um, in the write-up that Kathy did, the one thing she actually mentions over and over is how large the rooms are. So that's mm -hmm. something that you can go in knowing that you're getting three large bedrooms. You're getting a family room, a kitchen area, a living area, all of them with space to move and grow. Right, and it's got the three bedrooms that are large, but it's also got three bathrooms. Mm -hmm. So that, that's key too if you've got a big family or a growing family, you know, you got to make sure you have plenty of bathroom space. <laughs> Absolutely, and then the one thing that we didn't mention is all the extra storage that wouldn't be counted in that square footage. Oh, wow. So you've got storage in the attic, and then mm -hmm. you also have a below-grade cellar area. So if you're into canning, if you want to try anything like that, or if you just need the storage, right. this is going to have that as well. And all of that is in addition to the 39. 900 square feet that, that you've got. So this is one of those that we talk about sometimes that the four pictures we're limited to just are not going to do this justice. Absolutely. This is one, if you can get to the website, definitely go and look at all the pictures of this house because you have a lot of rooms, you have a lot of space to look at. Right. And you're not going to imagine in this neighborhood, in this area, on the back, uh, I call it the back side because it's on the hill, the yes. back on the hillside of Paintsville, <laughs> but you're not going to imagine getting a 4,000 square foot home with all the extra space uh, back in that area. So if this is something you're interested in, the price looks right to you, definitely give that Paintsville office a call. Ask Kathy about it and I'm sure she'll she'll be able to show that to you. Absolutely. And that number again, 606-789-8119. Uh -huh. And the price on this one is two nineteen nine, so not bad for everything you're getting, plus right there in downtown Paintsville. Mm -hmm. So like I said, if that's your market, go ahead and jump on this one, get a hold of Kathy and get your showing listed. Now, the last two that we're going to mention are actually your listings, and both of them are brand new. Yes, they are both brand new listings, and I guess we'll kind of start off by talking about them together, and then we'll separate them okay. out because they actually sit side by side. So if you are familiar with the Pikeville area, you can actually see these houses from US 23, mm -hmm. but if you're familiar with where the downtown Peking location is, um, Jiffy Cleaners, the Landmark, anything right. right there, you're looking up on the hill on Fiddler Drive. And these are, like you said, when you're coming down US 23, if you're going south, which is leaving Pikeville, going toward, let's say, the Virgie area, mm -hmm. or on that area, you can see it a whole lot better in the wintertime, like right now. You look up to your left when you go across that bridge there, you've got the, the Ford lot, Bruce Walters Ford on your right. Look to your left. Both of these houses sit right there. And these are going to be the ones far to your left. The first one we'll talk about is going to be 152 Fiddler Drive. And this is one that is the biggest of the houses. Mm -hmm. You have almost 5,500 square feet of space. That is almost more than you can think about because <laughs> I know it's a lot more than the house I live in now. Uh, and I'm thinking, what, what about all this extra square footage? So let your imagination run with this one. Yes. And they, they added on and they did a few things to it because the house was originally built in 1975, but it has been considerably updated since that time. So it has a first floor master suite mm -hmm. and the original second floor master suite um, that are huge. So you've got walk-in closets that are bigger than most bedrooms. You mm -hmm. have a bathroom that could be a kitchen. I mean, it's yes. very, very nice size room. So if you're looking for space, if you want a house that has that extra space in the, the elbow room, this is one to look at. You know, this, this reminds me of one that would be great for entertaining mm -hmm. also. So if you, you like having those gatherings, this is going to be perfect. And, and let's go ahead and kind of put your, your, your wish list or your imagination to work now because we've got a picture of a pool. Yes. It may be 12 <laughs> degrees outside right now, but again, the buying process is not something that happens overnight. So by the time you start now and you get everything done, you, you're going to be close time to getting that pool ready by the time you move in. Absolutely. And the great thing with the pool, 
right off of it is the screened in porch, mm. which I love a screened in porch personally. Right off that is the big addition they did, which is the family room that they opened up with almost floor to ceiling windows. Oh, so wow. it's one of those rooms on the on a nice rainy cold day, the perfect room for the nap or anything like that. But this one just has a lot of those type of extras. Well and it's got the fireplace and you talked mm -hmm. about those windows. I mean if we're fortunate enough this winter and I may get shot for this, to have a big <laughs> snow, this is gonna be the perfect place to lay back beside the fireplace. Dream about the pool when you can open that pool, but enjoy the snow. I mean, this one's an all-season home. All-season home, absolutely. And like you said, perfect for entertaining or anything like that. Now, both of these houses, um, they sit on smaller lots. So you've got mm -hmm. about a half acre with this one and a little bit larger lot with the other one. But there is an additional 25 acres that is offered for sale with either or both. Okay. Depending on it. So if you want additional property or if you have an additional need for property, that's also something that we can look at. That's not included in the current price, but that is an option. Wow. So let, let's take a look over at the other home now. Uh, mm -hmm. The first one being over 5,000 square feet, almost 5,500 square feet. Now the second one's not much smaller, 4,800 square feet. So yes. both of these are huge houses. Nice size houses. This one is almost the exact same floor plan, minus mm -hmm. that addition, but it hasn't had the updates like the other one has. Okay. So this one is a little bit more in the 70s. So if you want the size, but you don't want somebody else's personality put on it, you want to come in and personalize the house, then this one is the one that you want to look at. And I love that idea because a lot of people, you know, they want to come in and put their own touch to it. Mm -hmm. So this one, there, there's a significant price difference between the two and you'll know why. This one is so you can come in and make it your own. Exactly. Exactly. And the really neat thing, I don't think that uh, the picture is included, but both of them have these gorgeous foyers mm -hmm. with the rounded staircase and the open railing and all that. Um, again, go to the website to look at all the pictures for all these houses. But the foyers in both of these houses are just elegant and very beautiful. And, and like I said, again, pay attention when, when you're driving south on US 23. As mm -hmm. soon as you come out of the cut through, these are going to be over on your left. Um, so it's got a it's great location um, that, that you're getting because neither one of these looking at the pictures you would imagine being where it is. Uh, the, especially the one with the pool. You can't imagine up on what you would assume just to be a small place on the side of a hill to have this much space. And there is so much space up there. If you do have an interest and this is your price range, definitely give us a call because your mind will kind of be blown when you drive up there and see how gorgeous the layout is of the property. Right. Now the first one we talked about, the price is six hundred twenty-four nine, and the second one we said that could use some updates is four twenty nine nine. So if this is something in the price range and you're looking, give Jennifer a call. These are brand new listings, just came on the market and they sit next to each other so you can actually see them both with one showing. Absolutely we can and again you've got the 25 extra mm -hmm. acres if that's of interest too. But yes, give me a call at the Pikeville office 606-437-2333. All right, now that's that's five homes that, that we've talked about, some being in Johnson County, some being in Pike County, but you guys are in several other counties as well, mm -hmm. four offices. So. You know, this may not be exactly what you're looking for, but check out their website. You never know what you're going to find in any of those offices. Any of the realtors can help you. Absolutely, and they'll be more than happy to. All right, and that website is rbandw.com. All right, while they're writing that down and getting ready, I'm going to step out and let you do your real estate minute. Thank you. Happy New Year. This year, the new year has brought in some incredibly cold weather that requires homeowners to pay a bit more attention to your home systems. Please take the time to keep water dripping or running as the temperatures drop. Keep outside drains cleared and check your heating units. These items are important whether your property is occupied or currently vacant. Thank you for joining us for the first show of 2018. We will see you again soon.